Okay guys, this is the review you've all been waiting for, the seminal classic of the 80s. This one ranks, most people put this right behind Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's on most critics' top 10 list for best 80s movies. I'm of course talking about Critters. So, Critters, 1986, a thinly veiled Gremlins ripoff without the character charm, or really the effects value. Yeah, there's some effects, but they're not that special. Now here's the weird thing, the cast. We have the mom from E.T. We have a few 80s nostalgic references here and there. It's almost like this is a brand new movie. Oh, let's have a doll of E.T. for the gremlins, ah, the critters to attack. Let's have a dad whose bowling shirt looks a whole lot like the Ghostbusters logo. It's things like this. Oh, we have a cat named Chewy. It's like somebody born in 1984 wrote this shit now. Well, this is two years after Gremlins. We have these furry creatures escaped from a prison asteroid colony. Uh, not the shoddiest of effects. This is from New Line Cinema. This is really before they, they really became premiere. Like, yes, they had started the house that Freddy built, but I don't really know if people are too familiar with them and you can kind of look at them as somewhat analogous to, um, Maybe canon to some degree. Uh, maybe a little lesser than Orion pictures. But they escaped on a ship and there's some bounty hunters assigned to take them out. Why the bounty hunters live in the penal colony, don't know. But they have shape-shifting capabilities. While coming down, one of them watches this music video. It's got Johnny Steele. Uh, it was some lame-ass song. It was like... The most try-hard 80s song somebody today would have written. It was something like, Fear of the Midnight. It was something like that. But this guy's going on with this shit and this guy copies his face. The other guy can't decide what face to copy. Well, the critters crash land in Kansas, of course. Where, by the way, I have battled zero aliens in my day. There's this uh, family. The mom from E.T. Dad, I vaguely recognize. Well, lead son, I'm just gonna call him son. He's into some firecrackers and shenanigans. They have a hand that helps out on their farm, I suppose. And he's a bit weird and reckless and, you know, possible murderish. But anyways, uh, daughter looks pretty cute. You know, a lot of times they try to get a girl to play the hot chick and she ain't hot. I think this one could pull it off. Her boyfriend, Billy Zane, yes, the Georgia Gold Colonel right now. I just had some yesterday. So it's still going, probably through June. For, they, they charge like 50 cents more for that shit, so, so it better be good. But anyways, he checks out the movie pretty early. He seemed to be a decent dude. He drove a Porsche 944, non-turbo, but in the Porsche 944, the 80s cool guy at school car, Anyhow, she seemed to want to hook up with him in the barn, and he was reluctant to do so, saying her dad would murder him. Well, they attempt to hook up, the critters attack, they're just fur balls with a head, well with a face and they can shoot uh, trank darts out of their back. Well aimed for not looking. Now you may think this is from porcupines, but porcupines don't actually shoot their quills. Uh, people, that's a misassumption there. Anyways, he gets finger bitten off and killed. These things have a mean bite. It breaks a sort of a rule of a horror flick. The dad gets bitten in the shoulder. He fights the things off. They get him some ointment. And the family's like, what are we gonna do? These things could come in the house. He gets bitten in the shoulder again. You can't attack the same potential victim the same way twice. It doesn't work, guys. If you're making a horror film, remember that rule. Well, the kid escapes the house. He's going to go get help from the cops. There's a cop in uh, down the road. He crashes. He's attacked by the critters. And I'm thinking, this guy looks kind of familiar. Hey, it's Neelix from Star Trek Voyager. Ethan Phillips. And I just saw him in another video on YouTube that said Star Trek... Uh, and actors who were also in Star Wars. 
He was in Star Trek Voyager, voices some characters in Star Wars stuff. And I'm thinking because of the weird coincidence here, this is my next celebrity death guest. If he dies this year, don't be shocked. Because I called it. I'm seeing it. This is one of those things. So, he dies, and while he's dead and stuff, the uh, bounty hunters find him. The one without the face takes his face. But he changes his face quite a bit throughout the movie. They come across a church. They're looking for the Krites. We're here for the Krites. It'd be the critters. And they can't say, seem to communicate this well to the townspeople of Kansas. They, uh, they t one, he takes the face of the, of the preacher. And then he, by the end of the movie, he ends up with the face of the ranch hand guy. Well, the kid comes across them. It's like, hey, who are you guys? Aren't you? No, you're not them. What, you're Johnny Steele? No, you're not. Hey, we gotta help my parents anyways. Well, the sheriff of the town was like the, the captain of the police or something in Blade Runner. Yeah, he was in Blade Runner. What are these people doing when they're on like a high note going to a movie like this? I don't know. Well, they got these like pump action shotguns that kind of look like wide brim water cannons. They use these things to shoot the critters. They blast enough of them. Critters escape into their spaceship. The kid puts his firecracker in there because you know we had to get something useful out of him being a pyromaniac. Well, for shits and giggles, the critters just blast their house. Boop, laser, blow up the house. But then their ship gets blown up. Well, they're talking to the bounty hunters at the end. They, the Johnny Seal one's just like, call us or call me or something. Hands the kid like this slim iPhone of the future. As they're about to fly off, it's the next morning, whatever. The kid, everybody's going by their house. Chewy the cat's perfectly fine. The kid just gets this idea to push the button on, on this device. And it rewinds their house blowing up. This is actually a pretty good effect. I'm not entirely sure how they did this. I'm assuming they uh, filmed the house collapsing or blowing up and then just rewound it. But we saw that in the at night, right? So is that a miniature? So this uh, it's not a bad thing. I'll tell you that. Uh, I think there are four Critters movies. If you guys are interested in me making this into a review of the series, let me know. I will probably go on to A Nightmare on Elm Street next as the good folks at Hulu added just about every movie from that franchise. However, I think there are two that are on Netflix so I can switch between. But let me know, do you want me to finish Critters or go straight to Nightmare on Elm Street? And yes, of course, I was joking at the start of this. I give Critters two out of four stars.